Dave, how's it going, my friends? God bless you. Thank you, really, honestly, so much for taking time out of your Friday to join me for Augment Builds. Yes, it's concerning my favorite character, so I couldn't really help myself. We've got three Augment Builds here, and uh, these three Augment Builds, um, they are all revolving around Jade's Pole. So Jade's Pole is going to be doing some work in this video, and hopefully I can demonstrate how to do easy things with Jade in three different ways. Yes, so, um, really, honestly, like, thank you so much, guys, for joining along. Jonah, Delato, uh, Joseph Begley, God bless you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, or thank you for having the notifications turned on. That means that you're here to join along for these streams. Now, uh, these builds are focused around some Jinsei Essence Augments, namely the Jinsei Essence augment that we are going to be talking about today is on the rebound now on the rebound is an elder rank jinsei essence augment this thing can be hard to get it took me nearly 300 jinsei essence augments to get this thing for jade but it is very powerful because you are gaining the ability to do a lot of block damage with the pole so really we are going to be using jade's pole in many different ways today um i couldn't help myself so yes we are going to be having three different ways now this build here is focused around a specific move. You might have seen it. It's called Delia's Dance. Ever since they introduced custom variations, a lot of people love to run Delia's Dance on Jade now. Why? Why? I feel like that's not where the fun is. The fun is with a ring. Me like a ring. Um, but uh, the pull is really quite powerful, and with the right combination of augments, you should be able to get yourself some easy wins. Easy wins. So let's go into solo tag. Let's take Miss Jade plus Miss jade and the goal here with this particular build the strategy revolves around using the move delia's dance right away Eek. my face all right so we're not catching him blocking which is really tough Really, the build allows you to go for quick wins with the block damage, but even without the block damage, you're seeing all of this Delia's dance happening. Eek. Eek. He got me. Oh, I'm toast. Oh, no, it looks so, so gruesome. So I'm not the best with using Delia's dance. So this is why I've created three different ways on using this build. But the idea is to go for this move. Um, and when you do that, you're able to get block damage. But he's not blocking, which is very unfortunate. That's one of the hard things about using the block damage with certain characters. Uh, Jade's Amplified Delia's Dance knocks down the opponent, which gives you a little bit of time to go for the move again, but... As you see, sometimes it does not happen. But yes, wins. Easy wins are possible. And these things are still happening within 40 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, hopefully we can do a little bit better here, darn Jade. Yes, uh, but this move here with the Delia's stance, the idea, the idea is that you can pair it with on the rebound to get lots of block damage. All right, so... Uh, uh, uh. He just does not want to take this pole. He does not want to block the pole. He knows the pole is going to hurt him. Ah! He just does not want to take this pole. Darn. Eek. Eek. 
Oh, he flawless blocked that. Oh boy, yes, this is the problem. Oh boy, and he gets me again with the fatal blow. <laughs> the fatal blow. Oh well. Um, let's go back to the augments. Let's talk a little bit about what I'm trying to accomplish here, because maybe I'm not demonstrating it there right now. But really, Jade has access to. If you're familiar with like some of these chaos augments, she can get access to a lot of well, it's not as oppressive as, like, the oppressive dark type effect that you get from this augment. Where are we? Here we go. Falling darkness, pitch black. These combination of augments give you massive block damage when the opponent decides to block. Um, however, we've got here on the rebound, which basically gives you, like, a stout defense, gives you some of that oppressive effect with this Elder-ranked Augment, which is very powerful. I would say this is how I'm trying to run this. With armor, you are able to get the momentum of the battle in your favor so that you can get that move off before the opponent um, can go for a move so that he can block and take lots of block damage. And since we get like a stout defense with level 4 on the rebound, we're using another stout defense to basically amplify all of that block damage. We're also using Magic Moment because Jade is just like a magical character. She benefits from using Magic Moment. All of her moves are like magic related. And we're using like buffs of special delivery and first position to give 80% more damage with the combination of the two at level 4. Um, but there is like just many different ways of using this one particular build because Jade doesn't only have, like, Delia's dance. She has access to the wiggle stick. She has access to the forward two moves, all of which, in, like, all of her two moves, triangle moves, involve, like, a pole. So uh, these are all causing, like, block damage greater than what you could normally achieve with other characters. So it's very interesting that Jade has access to this. So let's try this. Let's use the wiggle stick we <laughs> see so like using the wiggle stick makes the whole entire like affair easier eek he does not want to block. I don't know why he just wants to eat this wiggle stick all day long. As you can see, there he's blocking now with the flawless blocks. And he's down. Yikes. So, I mean, like, these things are just going down very quickly. It seems like the AI just does not want to block against my dear Jade because he knows that he'll take a lot of damage. So if you saw there, when he did block against the Delia's dance, it was doing just so much damage so quickly. So it's just so interesting that these like augments allow you to just go for different things. Dave, just spam Delia's dance. I, 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 I'm not... I'm not like I'm not I'm not like I'm just showing that there's like different ways of playing with the Jade because she does have access to all of these different pole attacks, right? So that's like Wiggle Stick plus Delia's dance. But I find, like, I don't know, Shao Kahn just does not want to block against the, the Delia's dance. I also don't want to get it off at the moment. Eek. What is he doing? Oh, I'm scared. Hmm? Hmm? He does not want to block. Eek. See, so uh, when he does decide to block, it, it does go down. Ah! The Fatal Blue! Ah, uh, he got me! Right at the very end! Oh no! Oh, and there's all the modifiers too. I should probably block against those. But uh, this is like really the power of these augments. They allow you to pick up a character 
that you may or n like may know or may not know because like I know Jade, but I don't know anything about Delia's dance. I don't. I never use this move, so it's just like an interesting way to pick up this stuff because there is multiple ways of using this Delia's dance plus the block. So like I was showing the wiggle stick plus the Delia's Dance, then Delia's Dance alone. But you can also do Delia's Dance plus the forward triangle. So this creates like a mix-up with it. It's just very odd, uh, very odd that you can have so much variety with this one augment. So uh, all of these moves that I'm showing off, these are things that are taking advantage of the, um, eek. Taking advantage of on the rebound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eek. Eek. Oh, I let go of block. I'm so silly. I always let go of block, don't I? But yes, there's just multiple ways of using that move because you can cancel into it and then create like a mix-up opportunity with the overhead and then the low. If we could do the move. Eek! Oh no, she died! Oh no, she died! Ah! Ah, Jade! Alright, so, I mean, like, the fact that she has access to this augment, I mean, there is other ways of using it. So this is just one particular build that I am seeing, but I'm still, like, I feel like there's ways that I could improve upon this build. So let's go back to the augments. If you are particularly skilled with Jade, or particularly skilled with this, um, Adelia's dance move, it may not be necessary to run all of the armor that I am running. I'm using armor clad and in good repair. However, as you saw, like, Shao Kahn decided to flawless block. The, the flawless block really takes away from the ability to get um the chip damage that you're trying to get on the rebound so uh, swapping in in force this augment allows um uh your attacks like uh Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. Your attacks cannot be flawless blocked while you have no offensive gauge. So the idea here is then you can go for the Delia's stance, amplify, and then continue into more Delia's stance. Hopefully, the opponent will be able, like, will be blocking. So let's go here. Go again with Miss Jade. Eek. All right. There we go. All right. So, Delia's Dance, just one way of using on the rebound. Here we go. All right. All right, so with Enforce, you're seeing it a little bit better. The block damage that's coming off. Because he can't flawless block, which is very important. Eek. All right, so we get him with just a little poke. But um, with Enforce, that makes like a big difference, as you saw. So maybe it's not necessary to run all of the armor, but keep in mind that you will have to like use your offensive gauge, which is useful with Delia's Dance. You'll knock the opponent down, which gives you time to kind of set up for the move, and then the opponent will hopefully block into it. But this is just one way, so we're going to use it another way. So with the pole attacks. She has access to another move called Divine Forces. So let's go into this thing here. Let's take Miss Jade. Oh, that's Katana. Let's let's take Jade. So we've got this one here. And Divine Forces, this move allows you to reflect projectiles. And reflecting the projectiles, you can also amplify the move to cause damage so the idea here and hopefully we can do this is to get the opponent into the corner and then use this thing ah 
Eek. <laughs> oh no, he got me. I wasted all of my armor. All right. Eek. Oh no, my armor's gone. All right, toast. Ah, ah, we can't do the move. He got me in the corner. Oh no, poor Jade. Ah, it's all going down. Ah, all right. Come on, block. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Eek. <laughs> so as you see, you can go for endless divine forces. What's the usefulness of this? It's trying to get the opponent into the corner to really get them blocking against it. But as you see, I'm having some difficulty. Some difficulty. Oh no, poor Jade. Okay, so she's gone. We're toast. <laughs> We're toast. But, I mean, it's all just a very interesting way of using this on the rebound augment. You know, now that I have the augment, I, you know, I love the razor ring one more. But the bowls. The bowls are just very different ways of using Jade. Because she does have so many pole attacks. Now, as you saw, when he blocked against the Divine Forces, it was causing just some block damage. The idea is to get the opponent into the corner. Uh. Uh. Eek. Eek. Oh no, I saw sides. That's not what I wanted. Eek. Eek. Ah. Ah. See, there is, like, uh, like uh, the idea with the Divine Forces is to get the opponent into the corner. Because there is, like, so much pushback going on. But, um, it's it's hard to keep the opponents in the corner if you're not as skilled. <laughs> ah! Ah! Jade! Ah! Ah! Get away! Get away, Shao Kahn! Okay, alright. We might get him in the corner this time. Come here, please. Oh, wow. We totally forgot about the consumables, too. Ah! Jade! I guess I should be using, um, dodging shadows. That would totally save me from these consumables. But here we've got this thing. Ah! Jade! But the amusing thing is that this thing can go on forever. I mean, that's the idea. Just stay away, Shao Kahn. Please? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy ah here we go all right okay so i mean this is way number two and as you saw that was probably better there <laughs> what i did just going for the whole meter usage um uh, probably a better idea than trying to risk all of the armor but we've got a third way of using this pole just so many different ways of using the poll. But let's take a look at the comments. Let's see what you guys are saying. Dreaded Jones. Hello, bunnies. Lol, that looks and sounds so funny. OMG. I'm not going to sleep, boy. Yay. Thank you for joining along. Um, Tick Sazen, BMO like me. Dreaded Jones. Love you guys so much. Um, let's select a new fighter. Let's take Jade number three. So we've got three different Jades. So I'm showing you all of the different Jades. Why do Jade players spam D2? I don't know if it's spam Jonah, but D2 is so lovely. So, so lovely. Okay, so let's take this one. Uh, this one. Yes. All right. Um, uh, Dave, just spam Delia's dance. That's what I do, and they always block. Oh, no, they don't b always block, as you see. Um, I feel like uh, uh, these kinds of builds, like Sindel, or this one with Jade, when you're really focusing on trying to get the block damage, that block damage is, uh, like, requiring you to have, like, the momentum in the match. Hmm? 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 Oops. We messed that up. Oops. 
but I really do enjoy this version of Jade. I mean, like, what is what is this? <laughs> so, um, yes. However, all of these can make use of on the rebound because she's just got so many poles. How many uppercuts can I really get is the question. Oh boy. Okay, so he's he's blocking me. Oh no, he threw me even though I'm so slow. Oh wow. Wow, today's just not um, uh, Dave's day with Jade. Oops. Get away, please. What? I'm just so surprised that this is a thing. Eek. So, there's just really so many different ways to use the pole with Jade. And this is really trying to focus on her pole. I'm trying not to use a ring, even though I do love a pole. I mean, love a ring. Uh, we love all of it. Ah! Oh no, he got me! I'm always so silly. Okay, let's also see what you guys are saying. Dark side. By the way, did you sing the song I wrote for you? No, not yet. Um, uh, maybe? Soon? Miss, Miss Dark Side? Dark Ride? Um, yes. We'll... Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Alright, okay, so, as you see, lots of pulls, lots of pull action, but just different moves. So here we're kind of trying to use the Deadly Butterfly. The Deadly Butterfly, Delia's Dance, Divine Forces, all of these special moves for Jade are taking advantage of this one augment on the rebound, which is just oh so crazy. Oh, so, so crazy. Okay, so, um, let's, let's go back to way, n uh, number one. Let's go back to way number, way number one. So, way number one is just focusing on Delia's dance. So, let's, 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 let's talk a little bit about this move, which is here in this build. So, um, all of Jade's moves, they are magical moves. This is why I call her, like, a magical girl. All of these things are dealing magic-type damage. So, really using the augment magic moment with Jade is just kind of intuitive. You get lots of damage amplification. Now, specifically with Delia's dance, this thing is... Uh, like, it does not have range. Like, you have to be very up close to the opponent in order for this thing to kind of work. And in order for it to work, you have to just go for Delia's dance. Ah! All the time. Eek! You got me! Uh, interesting. Yes, he is uh, not really wanting to block against me today. But as you see, when he does block, there's just so much damage. Ah! Ah! Uh, I couldn't help myself. I'm trying to stick to only pull moves, but, you know, um, I do love a shadow kick. Um, but yes, that's Delia's dance. So let's go back to the augments here for the first build. Because the augments for the first build and the second build, they're kind of similar, but they are just, they are, like, there are some differences. Especially since we are running, like, different moves. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, let's also see, I'm just trying to make sure. Um, you can spam Nitro Kick if you have slow going. Cool. Um, uh, no you don't. Hey guys, hey Joel, how's it going, my friend? Hey Vasco. Okay, so, let's continue. Let's go to this first build. Alright. So, Miss Jade in this first way is really all about the Delia's Dance. And if you're better with using that Delia's Dance move than me, you should be able to get, like, the block damage happening more consistently. I feel like this move is just... 
since it is limited in range and it's just it it's not as useful i find as like her other pole moves i feel like uh, this thing with monarch is perhaps just a little bit um better um with the deadly butterfly so monarch is this jinsei essence augment which allows you to get um, more distance with her special move, Deadly Butterfly. But with this build, we are really focusing on, on the dance card. This thing gives Delia's dance four more hits, but I feel like Sub-Zero, Sindel, they are able to accomplish more chip damage <laughs> than Jade here with Delia's dance. So that's why I feel like this move is kind of limited in comparison to some of her other pole moves that she's got so this is way number one and i totally think that you should consider running in force because it means that the opponent cannot flawless block your attacks this is also a very good build with um a good augment with like the sindel maleficent march build using this thing kind of just makes sure that the opponents are not flawless blocking when they flawless block they do like a logarithmic scale less amount of damage so it's not good to the whole effect of like trying to kill the opponent now let's go to build number two this is the one with like the divine forces and it requires you to give up dodging shadows which is just very hard to do uh, dodging shadows is such a great move with jade but um really when you use the um the the divine forces in this way you can actually have like an infinite amount of like amplified moves which is useful if you can get the opponent in the corner so i guess like we should uh, shadow kick the opponents into the corner i'm trying the trying to think of the best way to keep shout gone in the corner because yes we need him in the corner so that we can do this do this divine forces so this is way number two Way number two is really kind of chancy. This move is, once again, very limited in range in terms of, like, her other pole attacks, which is, once again, why I think Deadly Butterfly is perhaps the best way of using on the rebound. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go here. Lady Stick. All right. Lady Stick. All right. There we go. We all right, so lady stick, let's go. Hmm? Eek! He got me through the through the through the you know this thing. Whatever whatever this thing is. He he just does not want to come close to me. <laughs> Look at him. Ah. 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 But it is just like a very like weird way of using this move. You can endlessly amplify it with the use of Soldier of Heaven. Oh no, Jade. She's gone down. Ah. Eek. Eek! Eek! I kind of wish you could reflect the modifiers. That would be great. Although it does not work. It does not work that way. Ah! Jade! So this one is a lot more risky, as you see. It's probably not the best way of using on the rebound. Eek! <laughs> Poor JD, she's dead. So I'm not demonstrating this uh, this particular build the best way. But uh, as you can see, you can endlessly amplify the attack. And I guess in situations where it's not so hard, you can totally do this easier easier more easily. Oh no, poor Jade. I hate to see her um lose her head. <laughs> Don't lose your head, Jade. It's just a game. All right, so let's go to here to the augments. Um, actually, maybe let's show her off in maybe an easier situ situation. Here we go. Let's let's go to this thing, this thing. Let's go, Jade, Lady Stick. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, so, um, Jade's Lady Stick here, the idea is that you're supposed to go for endlessly amplified divine forces. Hmm? 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 But I mean, like, it's kind of not necessary for you to go, like, endlessly? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I just, I just, I find great amusement out of using this move. So as you can see, I mean, like, it totally works against easier situations, but against harder, harder opponents, it, you know, it might be harder. It might be harder. Ah! Ah! Please, Devora, block block so when she blocks she ends up taking like a massive amount of damage which is just quite amusing for a move that's meant to reflect projectiles like that's not the way you're supposed to use this move but really with the jinsei essence augments you can do some just crazy things which is just so so odd devora does not want to come close to me please come close no there we go. We hit her! Yay! So, uh, there's better pole attacks, I feel. There's totally better pole attacks. I think Wiggle Stick is probably the best use. Wiggle Stick plus Deadly Butterfly. Deadly Butterfly plus Wiggle Stick. This might be the best way. But if you're interested in having just, like, fun, there's no reason why you can't just have fun. And some of these situations, they just become a lot easier, too. So, okay, so let's go to Lady Stick. This is the second build that I'm talking about here. Really focused on using this move, Divine Forces. So, with Divine Forces equipped as your ability, you get rid of Dodging Shadows, which is such a drawback. But suddenly you can amplify Divine Forces endlessly and with cheap hit and fire sale you can just go for the most amplified uses of the attack when you pair that with on the rebound however you get massive block damage every time the opponent decides to block into the amplified divine forces which is pretty cool i really like this um like, just a unique way of, like, um, crazy things happening that should not be happening. So, we've got here this third way with Jade, which I feel is, I think, perhaps the most successful way of using her. And I think we should go to the augments, because I think I have to put something on. We need to put on the rebound. I don't have enough on the rebounds. Okay, so, let's take this off here we go boom let's go for on the rebound so with jade i have like a dozen jinsei elder ranked augments i can't believe i have so many for this girl and it took me so long to get on the rebound which is why i'm making this video it took me so long to get this augment i love this this um augment now that i have it i want to use it so yes we are making three different builds just using this one augment so let's go to slow pole ride Yes, the slow pole ride. This thing is just amusing to no end. I love that you can get like three uppercuts with this thing. So, uh, 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 uh. Uh, I dropped that combo so hard. Wee, 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 wee. Oh no. Wee! <laughs> Wee! Oh, I guess I should put that on. Wee! Wee! Like, what? That shouldn't... This is just way too amusing. I love that Jade has this ability. And even without, like... Whoops. Even without the stout defense, we, we've got here on the rebound, which gives you some block damage with the pole. E e <laughs> it's just so good. 
I can't believe it. I can't believe something like this is happening. Wee. So, also with um, Jade's uh, augments here, you've got extra armor coming out. Wee. 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 All right, I'm just having way too much fun with this thing. Huh? Wee. <laughs> oh, we should probably stay far away. Oops, just one ring. One ring to seal the deal. But the idea is that you can go into the Wiggle Stick, into the Deadly Butterfly, into the Ip Girl, and all of these things are just doing either massive block damage or causing this insane slow effect. So as you can see, I'm really not good with combos. <laughs> I dropped the combo and he was right in front of me. But uh, you can get up to like four uppercuts if you're really good. So uh, really, um, this I think is the most successful way, I feel, of using Jades on the rebound. It's to pair it with this magic type effect where the opponent is super slow. So having the opponent super slow, I mean, there's obvious benefits to that. You're able to do exactly what it is that you want. You can avoid things. We we forgot about the deadly butterfly. Let's do that. Oh boy, there, I'm just having way too much fun with all of Jade's moves. It's just way too amusing. So yes, oh boy. Ah, ah. So ah, please, Shao Kahn. Oh, oh. We should have done this. There we go. Huh? 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 Just all of the pole. Huh? 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 Oh no! Oh no, he's probably gonna kill me. Let's just throw a ring. There we go. E Wee Poles! So yes, I'm trying to stay away from the poles, but really the- I mean, uh, stay away from the ranks. But the poles, uh, it's just amusing that really this one augment has just such great versatility. Such great versatility. So let's go to the augments for this third one. This third build, which I think is maybe... I think the best way of using on the rebound because you can pair this like block damage with going for crazy combos. I, you know, this is something that I feel is very unique to certain characters and with Jade and her pole, what with it being so long and having like the best reach with Monarch, this augment that increases the range of her pole attack. Uh, she just has such like a long, slow pole that just slows people. Um, as well, with running level 4 Monarch, you get a lot of extra safety when using jade just because you get armor during deadly butterfly which means that you don't take damage you continue on with your move it's easy to land to punish so there's just many benefits with this one augment here monarch now monarch is i believe it's mortal so yes let's take a check here oh no it's it's mythic it's mythic. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's mythic. Yeah, you're getting some great armor with that one augment. Um, a dance card is on here. It's not necessary for this particular build because we are using Deadly Butterfly. Um, keep in mind, since we are using Deadly Butterfly, it just means you don't use Delia's dance. You can use whatever moves that you want. But Deadly Butterfly is just one of these moves that takes advantage of on the rebound. 
right? So we've got on the rebound here giving you block damage with all of the pole attacks coming off of the wiggle stick plus the deadly butterfly. Now we're also using natural 20, natural 20, hard break, and slow going. Now this is a very, um, maybe a harder thing to put together because all of these augments that I'm describing, hard break, slow going, natural 20, these are elder ranked augments, but you know, the power of the elder ranked augment, you feel it because there's just the possibility for these crazy, insane combos, crazy, insane combos. Um, but really I feel like Jade with this one augment so much potential because oops we took it off we got to put it back on let's take on the rebound put it here really it is three different ways of playing with jade which are just so different from the ways that she can normally play because she has a lot of this like oppressive type of feel with the block damage i feel like the opponents just don't even want to block they know what's going to come to them if they block so let's go with uh, way number one. I just like having fun with these things. They're just so much fun. Okay, Sindel, are we on Combat League? Hey there, Vasco. Um, Santi Boy, Dark Side. If the PlayStation is still plugged in, okay, I'm glad that you guys are trying to help each other. Hey, Dave, this is Chastity, but I'm on my main account now. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you um, for joining along, my friend Chastity. Um, yes, I. Uh, it's a good idea if you do change like accounts or change your names, just let me know because it's kind of impossible for me to tell. Um, but yeah, like I hope that I'm demonstrating here that Jade has like a lot of potential a lot of potential with all of her different pole moves so let's let's do this one again because now i'm just determined huh? Oh, he flawless blocked me. Bad guy. So as you see, like, I didn't have Enforce. If I had Enforce, it might be easier. But yay, we got him. How long did that take? 22 seconds? Yay! we. So, uh, yes, it really seems like you need to have, like, some sort of skill with using Delia's Dance. And with Delia's Dance, I feel like the best way of using it is to really run out your offensive meter, knock down the opponent, and then go again into the Delia's Dance move before they even get up so the AI will want to block into the attack. I was able to get the opponent blocking there because of it, which is good. Which is good. That's way number one. So way number one. Really love it. Way number two. It's kind of silly, but it's just lots of this divine forces. Now, if you're really good with keeping the opponent in the corner, I would say that this is like a good way of using this move. Um, however, all I got is this, guys. All I can do is this, which is just like endless meter. Yay! Please, just walk into it, if you could. <laughs> okay, alright, we're out of meter. <laughs> He's coming for me! Why is he coming for me? Ah! 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 Uh, I'm trying to just throw my my little my little baton. Please let me just do my baton act. Yay! Please just walk into it if you could. <laughs> so this divine force is like it's just amusing, honestly. Like I don't think that the practicality in using this move is there. I just think it's just fun. Wee! I'm getting hurt. We. Oh no, I'm almost dead. If only I wasn't dead. We life. Okay, so um that's way number 2. I don't think it's as as like 
useful. Oh, wait. I know this fatality. <laughs> that's one of the few fatality inputs that I know. Um, yes, poles. So that's way number two, using, like, uh, the divine forces. But as you saw there, I'm also using Delia's dance to kind of help out with the situation. So it might be, like, better to just have, like the two moves, use the two moves in unison. Um, but the potential of just wasting all of your meter on just like a hundred <laughs> divine forces, th that delights me to no end. Very nice. Okay, but way number three, I feel like, which is probably the, the most powerful, which also kind of requires like uh, an augment swap. <laughs> Need to swap. Alright, let's go here. Let's swap it on the rebound wish we i wish we we could like trade augments that would be super cool if i could trade you my duplicate augments for things that i would like more of that would be great that would be so great i've got like so many elder ranked augment duplicates that are just like why okay so let's take along way number three and i feel like this is the way to go forward with on the rebound although um on the rebound is really requiring um how do we call it how do we call it um some consideration like because you can use this potentially with any of her pole attacks which are numerous oh so numerous okay so slow pole ride here we go um so this one is focusing on the deadly butterfly really with the monarch augment Getting that armor. Uh. I'm trying to do the deadly butterfly. Here we go. There we go. Wee. Uh. 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 So this way is just really amusing. <laughs> what are these combos? Yay! Can I get another one? We. I really quite enjoy this. And this is all taking advantage of on the rebound as well. So when the opponent chooses to block, they're gonna get um, some block damage. Oh no, I did not block. That's my problem. I never, I never learned how to block. Oh no. Okay. All right. Ah. Eek. Huh? Oh no, I'm almost dead. I'm just trying I'm just trying to get crazy combos. I forgot about trying to live. Wee! Wee! Oh no, it's over. Oh, okay, alright. So yes, Jade, Jade's pole. I think that's probably the most successful way of using it, because really, you have the potential of going for so many different moves with her combos. Um, with the opponent just juggled up into the air, I feel like Jade is probably the best user of this slow effect as well. Like, I know that Gearus, Kung Lao, Katana, um, Fujin, these are like the other characters that can potentially do crazy things like this but uh, I feel like this is just special for Jade because she's got so much potential with the pole really so many different ways of using this one augment okay so um, I hope that I'm like demonstrating the power of Jade although I did get kind of killed by Shao Kahn a couple of times but there is just so many ways of using it here here we've got way number one with delia's dance we've got way number two with divine forces 
And then we've got way number three with deadly butterfly. And I think this is perhaps my favorite way. I like the butterflies. Very nice. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying. Um, if you're here at this part, I'm sure you've already done so. Likes, comments, subscribes, they are greatly, greatly appreciated. They help out with the channel so, so much. Um, was really hoping um, for uh, showing off, like, Jade here in the best way. I hope I showed off the power of this on the rebound augment. Literally, this was the last thing that I was like dying for in the game and I wanted to show different ways of using it now that I have it yay um also uh like consider twitter twitch we do things there too consider joining the jaded bunny family because um there is all sorts of secrets a secret group chat um a secret sparring sessions secret videos secret channel all sorts of secrets so yes um it also kind of just like helps with like making everything happen in life um also uh what are you guys saying i actually helped my xbox run fast i installed an ssd drive in it oh that's pretty good um i feel like the difference between last gen and this gen in terms of processing power is just like way way better with this new gen um it did that as well uh because my hard drive was corrupted beyond belief really you guys have these problems with your ps4s i'm so surprised i'm so surprised okay um rambo just need to timestamp everything in the details oh boy timestamps yeah, uh, we need to think about that. Gotta do this. Um, uh, Jonah, yes. Oh boy, okay, alright. Whose dance is better, Delia's dance or Scarlet's dagger dance? I think Scarlet's dagger dance is probably better than this Delia dance move. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm just not digging Delia's dance. I wish I did. Um, uh, but, um, uh, as you can see, you can get easy wins with it, even if you don't know how to use the move. Which is good. Which is what the augments should be doing. Okay. Might I mention uh, that? Okay. Okay. Cool. Dark side. All right. So, um, uh, uh. Uh, okay, so if you're here, there's like a, a, a sing song. So this is for Dark side. Dark side was kind enough to write me a song. I, I put a verse on it as well, Dark Side. Thank you so much. Um, uh, they were so happy with the hot pink Molina skin bundle that came out. So they had to, like, share a song with me about Molina being so lovely. So yes, okay, so let's let's see if we can get Molina to spin. What do we want? Okay, so, um... Hmm... Mm. How do I how do I even prepare for this dark side? Um My pole is lengthy, my rings are plenty, the way I zone, I know you've seen it. I've got the crystals just for the bundles, femi fatali. I want it, I got it, 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 I want it. I got it. You like my side? Gee, thanks. Just bought it. I see it. I love it. Hot pink, golden, hot chick. OMG. <laughs> so this is for you, Dark Side. I hope that you enjoy that. Um, do you know what that song is? You guys have totally inspired me to listen to other things. So, so like, I think now I have to get, like, Dula Peep and ariana grandy in my life yes um uh, but yes a special thanks to like you know the actual like 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 you guys out there watching it means so much that you've chosen to spend some of your day with me but really um I i'm praying for you to get everything that you want in this game i hope that everything is going your way but please stay safe stay healthy stay happy uh, bye my friends take care peace love you guys